Hi viewers, this is Mohan Vamsi Pentakota. I'm a data warehousing and business intelligence consultant. The viewers of this video must have high level understanding on data warehouse, MicroStrategy metadata, and MicroStrategy components that come along with MicroStrategy installation. When you first install MicroStrategy, and open MicroStrategy desktop, you can see two example project sources. And the project sources will contain MicroStrategy projects, which contain a lot of examples for your reference. So before getting into what is meant by project source and projects, I would like to explain different architectures of MicroStrategy. There are three types of architectures in MicroStrategy. Two-tier, three-tier, four-tier. In two-tier mode, the MicroStrategy desktop application directly connects with metadata and data warehouse. So there is there's no middleman. So MicroStrategy desktop, if you install it on your laptop or on a server, if it is if it is connected in two-tier mode, it directly connects to the metadata database and the data warehouse. Now let's talk about three-tier architecture. In three-tier architecture, we have data warehouse. MicroStrategy metadata, desktop client, and intelligence server. Intelligence server is the middleman here. So the intelligence server connects to metadata and data warehouse using ODBC connections. And intelligence server transmits data to the desktops via TCP IP protocol. It's a communication channel. So this kind of a setup is called three-tier architecture in MicroStrategy. Let's talk about four-tier architecture. In four-tier architecture, we have MicroStrategy metadata, data warehouse, MicroStrategy Desktop, MicroStrategy Intelligence Server, the new component is MicroStrategy Web. So as we understand, MicroStrategy Intelligence Server is the main middleman. So in four tier, MicroStrategy Intelligence Server not only transmits data to desktop, it also transmits data to MicroStrategy Web through HTTP protocol. So in fourth year, we should observe the data from the data warehouse is not only transmitted to MicroStrategy desktop, it's also transmitted to the web. And that's the major difference between two tier, three tier, and four tier architectures of MicroStrategy. For most of the job seekers, this is a very important question asked by most of the employers. Now let's talk about the project source. So the project source is the high level icon in the folder list of MicroStrategy Desktop. So when we first access MicroStrategy Desktop, the first icon, the high level icon in the tree is project source. The project source in any tier architecture, the project source will directly connect to the metadata. Okay. Whereas in two tier, the project source directly connects to the metadata. Whereas in three tier, the project source through intelligence server connects to the metadata. 
So the major difference between a three tier and two tier, how do we identify between a two tier and three tier? So the, in two tier mode, you can see a single server icon right here. Whereas in three tier mode, you can see a globe right next to the server right here. And that's the difference. So when you double click on a two tier more project or three tier more, more project, it will ask you for a username and password. By default, the username is administrator and the password, you can leave it blank and click on OK. When you click on OK, there opens the tree and you can see the projects below the project source. The same thing for two tier mode projects as well. So when you double click on a two tier project, it, it, it will ask you for a username and password. And in the login ID, you will provide the login ID administrator. That's the default and the password you leave it as blank. So once again, you should understand the difference between two tier and three tier and four tier before accessing the project sources or else there's a room for confusion. Thanks for watching my video.